Hello, my internet friends. Welcome to the hot, hot, hottest damn show on the internet. It's Talking Mayhem Mania. It's me, your champion, uh, your pal in the mainstream media. Uh, I won this all by myself. And uh, Sorgi, how you doing tonight? Yeah, I know. Um, our guest tonight uh, here for Talking Mayhem Mania is RWA color commentator Lola Bradbury. Hello, Lola. Hi. How are you doing? I'm I'm doing good. I'm so excited for a rise this weekend, and then it just shows after shows after shows. And I'm prepping. I'm getting ready to be awesome and talk to my friends and work with my friends. And I'm just really excited. Excellent. Plenty of time to plug later. Right now, let's criti criticize these stupid matches. Uh, Lola, <laughs> Enzo Amore, yay or nay? Uh, I have a lot to say on Enzo Amore, but definitely nay. <laughs> Don't worry, that match will be dead soon. But you know what? Dan Sandwich slash Sandwich, he gets points for creativity, for thinking outside the box. I encourage everyone to use their imaginations. And he did. He used his imagination. He did a good I'm job. Hopefully not a Snapchat. Imagination. Just be um, yeah. Well, you know, and, and, and he went into great detail about why, not only not only his match, but why his match would work from a booking perspective. And he basically explained why the match would have heat, why the crowd would enjoy the match. He made a compelling argument. He had various bullet points, Sorg, Lola. So kudos to kudos to Dan. Good job. Let's, um, Lola, real quick, I'm going to run down the card real quick as it stands right now. So uh, in addition to uh, Enzo Mori versus AJ Styles, we still have the uh, Triconics versus the Tri-Pirates created by Bobby. We have uh, Cassius Onu and Cesaro versus Keith Lee and Dominic? Dijakovic? Donovan? I, I, Donovan? Is he Donovan Dijak, but he's Dominic Dijakovic? Can we get someone on that? Research staff? What? I just want someone to find out. Mon Stars. All right. I, that Garza from PWG. Uh, Leon, okay. Uh, Lola, you created... Okay, Trent Seven and Dean Ambrose. Please... Um, Educate me as if I don't already know on the wonderful uh, stylings of Trent Seven and why you chose him of all people uh, to make a match with tonight. Well, when I first got into Brit Raz, I always watched Progress Wrestling and just his style. He's very handsome. So that's a huge, huge plus. And I just, the spot he always does where he goes to chop someone and hits the ring post gets me every time. And I just really love Trent Seven. That's great. And we love Dean Ambrose. I love Dean. I think I'm the last one. Um, but this will be his farewell match. So I'm glad he's back on the card. Um, so why Dean? Just curious. I think, I mean, they both can technically, like from a technical standpoint, they can put on a really great match. But both they're kind of, the way that they do comedy things and matches, I think that those styles will match really, really well. I agree. I think they'd be a good pairing. I think they do something very interesting. Who knows? Dean Ambrose might wear three belts to fight Trent Seven. He's got so, more belts than he's got fucking pants. That's right. Sweet Caroline. I only have one pair of pants, but I got two belts, so I got to wear both at the same time. <laughs> Did you fall asleep for that part last night? Did you just see him take off the belt and he still had a belt on? What was that? I don't know, but like, you know, it, it, it really is true. It, it, like, once you put in your notice that you're leaving the company, you start doing the best work of your career. It's amazing. Like, it just becomes you an wear immediate... You belts on your pants. It just becomes an immediate genius again. It's amazing. I, w I want to call out Batista did his best work on his way out. Yeah, I know. What that's you, why... Wheelchair, I quit? Yes. Yes. Dave Batista, right before he quits, is always doing his best work. So I'm hoping for... I'm hoping they're telling him he, he's quitting the day after WrestleMania. So he's, we're going to peak right there. Um, all right, real quick. Uh, Tatiana created uh, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods versus Nikki Cross and Rhea Ripley. So the intergender action is back. I don't know what problem she has with Big E, but uh, I didn't want to pry. Um, Ronnie Starks created Tommaso Ciampa versus Finn Balor, um, who apparently is not Dan Sandwich's favorite wrestler. Uh, Cornell from Pit Fight. Uh, Nakamura versus Matt Riddle. I love that match. And Brandon added Ricochet to make this a three-way Seth Rollins versus Aleister Black versus Ricochet. So, you know, what can I say? I say this every week. The card is rounding into form, Sorg. 
it's looking good. Lola, I think it's looking pretty good. Um, which one? Which one? <laughs> Except for Enzo. But you know what? You know what? I mean, the way this game works, uh, you know, these things have a way of working themselves out. So, uh, uh, Dan, I, I, I don't like to say this out loud sometimes, but uh, Enzo's not going to survive another round in Mayhem Mania. This, this match is dead on arrival. So I'm just letting you know. I mean, don't be disappointed. I mean, say what you will. Judge if you want. I mean, you have the right you know, if you want to. The internet blew up when he showed his face again, though. <clears throat> yeah, well, I mean, hey, I, I, like I said, you made, you made a lot of good points. Uh, you, made a, you made a compelling argument. Um, and I'll leave it at that. Okay, um, let's get real quick to the Eliminator. We have a new Eliminator used, Lola. Sorgatron, vengeful, spiteful, hateful Sorgatron, finally came to his senses and eliminated Bobby Fish. Yes? Huh? I See, I loved Bobby Fish in Ring of Honor, and I love him in NXT. So, like, I guess Sorg has his reasons against Robert Fish, but I like me some Bobby Fish. The man, my, the man cost me $300 one time. My favorite part about this is that, like, everyone's Undisputed Era ideas are gone now. So they're, everyone's back to the drawing board, if they even had one to begin with. We we haven't seen an Undisputed Era match on this card yet. All Mayhem Mania. It's right there. You had your chance, guys. You blew it. You could have, like, four on four. Just yeah, way, I don't usually. Guys. I don't usually. But it, I want to put this out there. What has Undisputed done for us lately? <laughs> you... What the hell has Undisputed done in the last four months? Kyle O'Reilly's... I... Guitar Kyle O'Reilly playing the entrance. guitar on the on the belt. Uh, you know, no, Adam Cole taking no. losses. You know what? I'm over. You know, it's not just the Bobby Fish thing anymore. I'm over undisputed as a whole at this point. Go on. That's all. That's it. I'm over it. it. I'm over, over it. it. Over the shine it. is off of it. I don't care. They're undisputed. That I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I undisputedly don't freaking care. That yes, is undisputed. <laughs> um, Lola, I just want to say thanks a lot for coming on. I'm glad you reached out. I'm glad you expressed your desire to be part of Mayhem Mania. Yes. Uh, so I hope it was everything you dreamed it could possibly be. Um, I mean, you guys are here. My buddy Tatiana and my buddy Ronnie is here. Everything I ever hoped and dreamed of. She didn't mention Dan. Um, so... <laughs> 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 it was awesome i'm so glad you came on uh why don't you take a minute here because you're doing all these wonderful things uh, just plug your stuff let everyone know uh where they can find you and what you're up to so you can find me on twitter and instagram at lola underscore bradbury if you're a creepy dude i will call you out on your bullshit so be prepared fair warning in advance um <laughs> <laughs> also currently i'm doing a lot with rise wrestling uh backstage interviewer um i also have a podcast on indywrestling.us called rise strong podcast episode they should be up soon featuring um uprise's own tyler vox at voxy bb um and i just started color commentary at rwa which was the most phenomenal experience of my life that was my first independent wrestling show in 2014 and things have kind of come full circle and it was a moment also if you find me in the crowd and you want me to meet your child it's going to be awkward just <laughs> <laughs> wait 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 <laughs> Wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. MT OSHA has just sprung into action here. Violation? What did you just say? <laughs> no, someone came up to me during intermission. I forget who it was, but uh, they wanted me to meet their newborn baby niece. And like, I went over to say hi to the baby and the baby could have been less impressed. And that's the most on point thing that's ever happened to me. Babies being unimpressed with who I am. Well, I thought so. you said something completely opposite. <laughs> I, was well, like, Wait, what? I mean, that's what babies are here on this earth to do is to uh, keep us all humble. So Amen. good on that. But so, yeah, I've been doing a lot of fun things. I am super, super grateful. That's awesome. And uh, I'm uh, very happy for you. Hope uh, for more great things to come. Uh, OSHA Inc. on the couch. Thanks for hanging out and uh, sitting here. Good luck, Dan. Sorry about your match. Isn't going to make it next round. Um, <laughs> it's gonna. Sorgatron, thanks for pushing the buttons for us. 
please <laughs> count the 10 next time we mention Bobby Fish around you. Thank you, everybody, for watching. <laughs> WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Check out everything going on with Mayhem Mania. Catch up on all the past rounds. Tell us what you think of these matches, which ones suck, which ones don't. Um, enjoy Mayhem Mania. Thanks for supporting. Stay Mayhemmy. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.